Hello everyone, it's Melanie. I am working on um, a little embroidery textile collage piece and um, I had posted some pictures of, of it on Instagram and had some comments from some of my YouTube friends. So I thought I would turn on the camera and um, just kind of show you what I'm doing. So this is a the fabric is a half, it's half of a uh, 1920s sugar sack. There's the original uh, chain stitching. So it's half of a sugar sack, um, torn in half and then folded in half. So this is a quarter size, or actually it's a half size. Um, because this, let's see, this is the side and bottom. So that would have been the fold. So this is a quarter of the bag right here. Uh, and it's two layers of that um, sugar sack. And then I had been working on a quilt that I was using a lot of different pieces for, for scraps, and I have a bunch of, these are my, some of my tiny fabric scraps uh, that I use for things when I just can't seem to throw these kinds of tiny scraps away. This is what I end up using them for, stuff like this. So I just, um, drew an S on here in pencil really lightly, and I've just been, um, whoops, embroidering little uh, pieces onto it to make like a monogram. Um, my last name is Sullivan, so I can put this. This is probably way too much thread, but I'm kind of lazy when it comes to Rethreading, so I like to use a long piece of thread. Um, in my head, I would say that I was going to maybe put this in a shadow box on the wall, but in reality, the truth is, I rarely ever even finish things like this because I start to work on them. And then this kind of collage-y thing in particular, it very much feels like to me that it's never quite done because you can just always keep adding to it. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys are well. I've been doing quite a bit of quilting lately. A little bit of journaling. I have made some videos that after I made them, I decided, ugh, these aren't post worthy, kind of boring and I don't know if I'm zoomed in far enough. So I'm using right now, what I'm using on this is, uh, let me see if I can zoom down just a little bit further. Am I in? I don't have a setup in here like I do in the other room where I can see what my camera sees, what my phone sees. So what I'm using for this is, um, this is a beading needle that you usually use for bead weaving, not typically for just sewing. And then I use, I. This is a combination of, oop, that's my chair. I have a very loud chair. A combination of embroidery floss and the, this is um, a Guterman silk thread. And I love this thread for sewing beads and um, it's not, you know, typically something I think you use for embroidery, but it doesn't tangle like regular sewing thread would. So that's one thing I really love about it, is that I can use it um, to make these little tiny stitches and it doesn't get, it doesn't get tangled. Uh oh, my dogs are coming in. They can be kind of loud, very loud. So like I said, I just drew an S on this really lightly with a pencil. 
after I got my fabric kind of, and then I, this is a big long basting stitch that I did on the machine around the outside edge just to hold the two layers together while I work on it. And I haven't quite decided if I want to do a border. Um, I kind of think I do. I kind of think I want to do an embroidered border around the outside in of like tone on tone. So maybe in you know, like a creamy, let me see. Maybe I could do it in, you know, like an ecru color or something like that and do embroidery around. So that's where I started picking this off because I thought I could do, you know, a, a embroidery around it and then I'd put it in a, in a frame. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. But at this stage, I just keep adding stuff to it because it's so much fun to play with and to do. And it's like, it's like it's never finished. You can just keep adding and adding and adding stuff to it. I have quite a few pieces that I've worked on I'm thinking like throughout my house, I don't think I have a single, well, you know, I do. I do have one piece. Oh, and it's kind of Christmas related. I do have some trees that I did out of some wool felt and um, that's kind of this collaged and it's and beaded. This one I've been putting sequins in. So this is some um, fabric, embroidery floss, um, beads and sequins. and and threads so kind of feel like I could still use something in here and then I could also I see how I used I have this gold here and then I, I put the gold up here maybe I could use some of that gold down here somewhere just a little bit of gold um, oh I love this Oh, I have this too that I cut out. I could do that. I could just do like some gold leaves. Maybe a pair of gold leaves. Or I could do... I don't know, I could do something like a stem that comes out and then has something on it. I don't know, let me just cut, I'm gonna cut like some little leaf or petal shapes. Oh, maybe I could just do, a, make up a little flower out of save three of these little petal shapes. I think I'll do that. So I'm finished with this. Now I need, I need some gold thread. And choosing thread, I, I like to, I like to pick something that matches, but I want you to be able to see it. Uh, I don't want it to be completely hidden. You know, I'm if I'm gonna take the time to, um, I'm gonna take the time to do this tiny stitches, then I want them to show up, you know? So, oh, this. buttery color. That'll work. So I don't want the um, thread to match whatever I'm embroidering on too closely because I want it to show up. I want you to be able to see it. Okay, sorry about that. My dog's freaked out. My husband came home and didn't realize I was filming because I'm not in my usual filming spot. I'm in my sewing room.
So I don't really remember what I was saying. Oh, I think I was talking about these beading needles. So I like using these beading needles for this because I use such tiny bits of fabric that um, if I try to put, um, some of these pieces of fabric are so small that if I try to put, you know, a regular sized embroidery needle or something through them, it just, un the whole piece of um, fabric comes unwoven because there's no, there's nothing holding it together um, it, because it's such a tiny piece. So I like using these really, really fine beading needles uh, for sewing on these tiny, tiny pieces of, make sure it's not, these tiny pieces of fabric. And it makes the work itself kind of delicate because um, it can't take a lot of wear because if I, you know, if I rubbed on this piece right here, this this is a piece of silk. If I just rubbed on that, it would just disintegrate. It would completely unravel and it would be gone. And I do a lot of this too. So I have multiple, instead of re-threading needles, I have multiple needles going at the same time. And here I did the stem and then I think I wanted to put something on the, on the ends of it here, on the, you know, like the petals on the bottom or something. So I just, I didn't finish this off. I just moved it over to the side so I could attach the petals. And then I'm just gonna do a couple of chain stitches on each side of the petals to sort of finish it off. So I do try to be pretty careful with it while I'm working on it so that I don't tear it up. Oh, I like that. And then I have my tweezers here for unpicking little pieces and Now I feel like it needs uh, another petal or something down here, so I'm going to move down here and then put in another little chain stitch leaf. Something else I really like about this is that it, I'm not using any fancy embroidery stitches. It's running stitch. Um, this is feather stitch, and then there's a little bit of fly stitch, I think, in here, and a, and a chain stitch, but those are all really basic. Um, really basic stitches, and I don't think I want that to look symmetrical. So I'm just going to put a stem on that side instead of another leaf. Tie it off. And I have to get ready to go. So this might just be a quick one. No editing other than I need to add these two videos together. So if you guys wanna see more of my, you know, of this kind of video, let me know. Everything's great with me. I've just been working in a different, <laughs> in a different room and I, I don't have 
my camera set up and stuff in here. So I got to run some errands. I got to be somewhere. And then um, I'll probably, after I get back home, I think I'll, I'll probably work on this some more. Uh, I was going to tell you how big it was. Let's see. 10. Oh, that works out nice. It's like 8 by 10. So that means it would, um, it'll probably be easy to find a frame uh, that I can attach it into. So I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.